COVID-19 cases across Georgia have gone up nearly 14% over the past week. And local health experts say highly contagious strains of the Omicron variant are to blame. WSAV's Daisy Kershaw spoke with a local physician about what can be done to combat these newer variants. She is joining us now with our top story. Good evening, Tina. Well, I spoke with Dr. Tim Conley of Memorial Health, and he says right now there are 31 people hospitalized with COVID-19. That's the most we've seen since roughly February. And as cases and hospitalizations continue to go up, Conley says the number of vaccinated people needing treatment is also increasing. The newer strains, which are now the more dominant strains, absolutely are more likely to make people sick, even if they've had COVID, even if they've had the vaccine, compared to the strains we had four months ago. Just last week, the FDA announced that a vaccine targeting new COVID-19 variants will likely be available this fall, after an advisory panel voted for the vaccines to be updated. So the updated vaccine actually has outstanding efficacy, up to 20-fold more protection with the new Omicron variant of COVID. So as soon as that comes out, we're definitely going to need to get that. In the meantime, we do have quite a bit of protection from the old vaccine, just not as much as with the newer one that actually targets the, the new mutations that they have in the spike protein. While doctors are optimistic about this updated vaccine, experts say the ones we have available now still offer important protection, especially as more vaccinated people become sick and are hospitalized due to the Omicron variants. There's efficacy across all the different strains with the current vaccines that we have, but what we are seeing is more people requiring hospitalization that have COVID-19 that have been vaccinated than we've seen with the previous wave that we had where almost everybody we saw in the hospital was, was unvaccinated. But Dr. Conley stresses that even if vaccinated people become sick, their symptoms aren't as severe. It's very unusual or unlikely for the vaccinated people to require high flow oxygen or intubation and ventilation. Doctors warn we aren't out of the clear yet, and no one is immune to getting severely ill if they don't take proper precautions. It's not gone. We're still having a problem. The problem's not going away. It's probably going to be here for a while, and the best way to combat that is for more people to get vaccinated. Dr. Conley says we could likely see cases rise in the next few weeks because of the July 4th holiday. Daisy Kershaw, WSAV News 3, on your side. Daisy, thank you. We put important information on COVID shots for kids, how you can get testing kits, and much more at wsav.com slash coronavirus.